Kevin from Prairie View has a smoky house. He just bought a smoker's house, Tom. Oh, I thought it was maybe a barbecue place. Blanche, come in here. <laughs> Smoker. Oh yeah. Blanche. I had to, I had a friend whose house he was he and his wife smoked in it for years when they moved. Mm -hmm. That was one of the biggest issues they had. They had to keep going back again and again and again. That's what Kevin's up against here. Oh yeah, it's tough. Kevin writes, we can still smell the smoke coming from the AC. He wants to know, do I need to replace all the ducts or is there any way to clean it? And if I replace it, what do I need? An R6? R4.2. What's your advice for Kevin? Uh, I don't know, if, but R4.2. I like that, though, the way it was written. <laughs> it's an R8 we're using now. For that. And if it's flex duct, you can't clean it. You're just going to have to replace it. But the mm. most important place that you have all the nicotine, all the smell, is the evaporator coil. And the second place is your fan blower motor. They just get caked with nicotine. So if you replace... Uh, the equipment upstairs, which you'll have to do, they can't be cleaned if it's that old with all that nicotine. In a fact, system replacement. Yeah. Yikey. Well, well. And then maybe some duct work, but that Oof. coil turns bright yellow and then turns dark brown over time. Just like your lungs. <laughs> Whatever. I'm afraid if you're a smoker. I agree. Now, I've got the same problem. My mother smokes, and when the time comes to sell her house, it's going to be an issue. There's no doubt about it. You don't have to have a complete system rebuild, though. I will tell you this. You keep the outside unit. That oh, doesn't get smoke on Oh, there. good. <laughs> so at least that stayed outside not a, complete, not a complete system. Just <laughs> no. all the expensive inside. stuff inside. Yeah. Okay. E, we want to save you money and help you with your projects, and we'll do that for you. All you have to do is send us your question to homeshowradio.com. There's a little Ask Tom button. Click that. Send it. We'll come answer it right here.